it's uh, high hope that he might get a chance. Two darts now for set one, and Dave Cameron double ten. He's opened the set with it. He can't close it with it. Jamie McGuire, 170. Jamie Hughes steals himself to try and steal the set. What a shot this could be. He was so unfortunate. That had a real chance, and it kissed off the barrel and landed low. Double ten. Double five again. And this time it's not there for him. And David Cameron is throwing this leg away and with it the set. And it's tops now to steals leg five and set one. One dart left, double ten. Nothing is assured here. That will do it for Jamie Hughes, who takes the opening set. He survives five darts for it from David Cameron. He's leave himself a shot. Cameron's going to be on a better one. How good could it be? Oh, it could be great. First maximum of the match, and a brilliant time to produce it. Jamie Require 167. Well, the number one that believes in... With big answers here. It wouldn't surprise me. Wouldn't surprise me in the least if that treble 20 goes in. Oh, of course, now a bull for a 167 for 2-0. Oh! You just, it, there's something that between David players, they perk each other up, they respond. It's great stuff. It wouldn't have surprised John Park, but it would have shocked David Cameron. But he may yet be shocked. But he sneaks that one in underneath the first, and David Cameron celebrates as he levels this game up. Has anyone ever busted while going for the ninth heart leg on the third visit? The night is young, John Park. But Yozza started this leg better than he has started any leg in this match. But David Cameron has still got a chance here to hold throw. He could still do it. It's not nice. Well, that was interesting. We were talking about miscounts. 41. Jamie require 89. Well, it's been an ongoing discussion of errors of one sort or the other in this match, but 20 required now. And that leaves a ball. To break the Cameron throw. One dart at the ball. It is all he needs. He loves it. Jamie Hughes. Cameron looking to do the same here. Not going to be too pleased with that, although 76. Nice enough normally. You would say, okay, I can deal with that. But nothing has come very easily in this match, so. First things first, well, you just can't get the two treble 19 combo started, so he's just trying to apply some pressure. 59. David, he requires 76. Double eight. Game Finds it. That play. first dart did not look David like much Cameron. help to David Cameron. It did not matter. He breaks back immediately. And for the third set running, we are into a deciding leg. Although he also gets a great third dart to just ask questions. He's missed the big number. It's going to cost him a dart. He'll only get one for the set. He should have had two. Jamie Hughes is finishing brilliantly at the start of the match. Not so at the moment, but how about right now? 19. And just maybe that last McCoy start, treble 20. was just enough of a, a rattle of the cage to force a miss on the single. 76. Double four. They have both missed set darts. Jamie requires this 89. is absolutely huge. 
And Hughes cannot afford to miss the big single again on this visit. Needs to get two darts for double, just the comfort factor. Double 16. Next door for double eight. 23. David Cameron. David He's not laughing. Not like he was earlier. This is massive. He has survived three darts to lose the set. He's missed four himself. And now five no again. Control. Well, he sort of had that wall of those two darts there, and it, it looked like he could just throw into it, but he, he went over them. Maybe played that off too much rather than just go right at the double. Jamie Hughes falls over the line in this set. It sure is, and, and Cameron just blew up there. A single one, the last dart, no finish available. And that allows Hughes to go this way. And he's ended up back on tops with that treble eight. And there's no dart in the way of that double top, which is the problem with 80 a lot of the time. 60. But he can't find the target. He will get more goals. Oh, that's like the worst feeling. You know, you could have maybe taken out 160 if your last dart had bounced rather than hit a one. To go within a leg. Of his first ever victory on this stage. Total five for Yossi. Fifteen. David Ivanquire, twenty. <laughs> well, a little closer, but kind of a weird angle. And no score. Seemed to be trying to come round it from the right hand side. It did not work for David Cameron. Jamie Hughes. The easy bit is hitting the single. It is not that easy. Not in this position. In this situation. But he's done that very well. Double two. Jamie Hughes is one leg away. David Cameron shakes his head because this game, an eminently winnable one, one that he will feel he could have won already. He won. Great visit from Cameron to get to a finish himself. Yozza, it might happen. It could be happening, match star! Jamie Hughes has missed the dart at the bullseye for a huge finish at his first ever Ali Pali win. And you thought it might go after he had the uh, bull on the 89 finish. He'll be back here, though. He'll be back here now. To finally get the job done. After four years of pain. Yozza to put an end to it. Double eight. More darts missed this David time for the match. Can David before. Cameron punish? He's been in this position before. Does he start on the ball again? Yes, yes he does. Better dart, though. He'll be leaving a regular double. It stops. Well, in the end, 27 darts Jamie missed at double for 16. Dave Cameron in this. There's 23 missed by Jamie Hughes. As long as it doesn't go to 24, 25, and 26, he's okay. Because he is still in the World Championship. Jamie Hughes, at the fifth time of trying, has won a game on the Ali Pali stage. I'll let you tell Big Boris that, though. I'm not talking to him. Because you can't, you, you just can't win with him. He's just, he's just too big. Yeah, people said I was a really bad loser, but when Boris beat me, I certainly shook his hands. The situation's clear here for Rivera on 2 or 4. We want to leave at least the two data. And there's one treble. A set one would be a real bonus. Wow, he gets right. it. And that puts well, the pressure on this Shanghai. 4-1-40 for Ray. What a dart. What a dart. And what a dart. That is the first Keen set Barry. wrapped up by Keen Barry. Against an opponent this on 240. But this is keeping it tight. That is so good under that pressure. Wow. Wow, a 
exactly how a match can turn. But Keen Barry is going to get another dart. Now, no, you require 60. Hit the 180 to lead the 60. If he gets the 60, what a way to tidy this setup. Tops has missed 17 darts at a double already. There was an inevitability about that. I think you Can knew, you I knew, 16. the crowd knew, and I think unfortunately even Ronaldo Rivera knew that was not going to go. Big, big chance for Keen Barry, it's and he takes it. And while you were looking at that, Max, I was just watching Keen Barry there, and just for the first time, just a, a hint of frustration as Rivera took an age to take those three darts, as he had the realisation he should have gone downstairs. But no panic on this 99. Doesn't need to go top stops. Well, at least keep it in the board. 39. Well, at least he didn't follow the one out the board with another one out the board. We've seen that a number of times. Don't follow one mistake oh, with another. Right Keen piling no, no, the pressure on. 60. Twenty for tops. Set. He loves it, and why wouldn't he? That's a good set of darts, actually. Played OK in that. The doubling wasn't dismal like the previous sets. Scoring was better than keen. Yeah, nothing to do with the negatives we've sort of highlighted or constructive criticism, I'm saying. Just because since going 2-0 down in this set, which is right on the cusp of losing, He's not looked panicked, and is it some? Is it a clutch double? And he was it in clutch trebles. And is it another one? That was a little bit late, which is why there was a lot of body movement after the dart had gone. It's all about Keen Barry. If he can hit a 140, wow! Didn't see that happen. Once again, he can leave the ton finish. Even better. Once again, Keen Barry's two darts away from victory. Saw Connor Scott take this out earlier. Brilliant performance by Connor. The greatest 138 of the world champs? Yes. First start was a bit of a blocker. But that last Can start still 62. makes it interesting. 62. You know, look at treble 10. For the match. And Can Barry is happy as Larry. It wasn't pretty early doors in that game, but a 120 Shanghai finish in the first set really settled Keane Barry down. But Rivera, he was tenacious all the way through. He will learn so many lessons, but you can see the relief from Keen Barry. He gets over the line in the end, 3-1. Not Dempsey's confidence, Mike. Well, if Keen Barry is my ying... Oh, 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 how about this? He's gone early. Little look-away 180 attempt. Didn't get any points for it, and it might cost him this opening leg, to be honest. I said if Keen Barry's my ying about throws, then Scott Williams is my yang. I think it's a Scott real Rolls-Royce throw. And I was surprised to hear him talking about his throw this week. He might need it now with tops. And just look at what the double Muramata was left on. An important moment very, very early in this game. Just what he needed. Talk on for a couple of years. Didn't make that much use of it. But this to level the set. Needs to find a treble. Gets it. Double 16 for a ton plus finish in a level game. 72. Well, we asked for the Scott showman. That is Scott Williams. Not only a 170, but to win the set as well. 65. 
Should have threw them blind. Well, gets another crack at double 16 this time. And this time he pins it. And we are going to a deciding leg of the set. Now, every leg so far has been a break of throw. We expect to be back. And he will be back. Scott Williams is now hoping. Leaves himself on double six. Haruki Muramatsu. Now, the way his darts go in, double top shouldn't be too much of a problem. That isn't really blocking the path. Find a way there. No, he can't. Two set darts missed. Scott, who required 12. It's been a fascinating first set. But it's Scott Williams that gets over there and look what it means to him. Absolutely nothing to separate the two players. A great first set, but it's Scott Williams. He leads 1-0. Options on 108. He decides to use a 19, so you'll stay there. Fifty-six. Haruki require 160. This would be special. He just needs something, Muramatsu. He's been good tonight. But you want that really great special moment. It's not going to happen here. Scott Williams has a chance 100. to lead this match Scott two sets to nil. 52. To rattle through this second set. The three consecutive legs. Next door for double eight. That'll do it. Scott Williams set. is in total Williams. control of this one. The first set was iffy. Muramatsu could have won it. He did not get eight shots in the second. 1-4-1 one, one required. Muramatsu won't go. I like that. Makes sense. Going to the bullseye. Second dart. So he can tidy it up with the third dart, no matter where it lands. Is it double double? There's the options there. Obviously, I'm old school. I was looking at the bullseye first dart there, but these elite players now they back themselves to hit at least a treble with two darts. 54. Not the case. Haruki and Muramatsu, a chance for two nil. It was Scott Williams that ran away with a second set. Haruki is 18 points away from a big lead in this third set. Well, both legs, one on double nine for Haruki Muramatsu, and there's a fight back. The place to have a good run, this is the place to be it. And he fancies the game with Danny Noppert. Certainly won't be looking past Haruki at the moment, but... That will be the decided target. Scott, you require 124. Good visit for Muramatsu. Treble 18 and bull required for Shaggy. He has the treble, does he have the ball? 99. No, he doesn't. And this Haruki, you require is the pinch of setback. And stay there. It's double 16. And Game that is an outstanding set, set of darts from Haruki Marabutu. Was the argument there that Scott Williams could run away with that game, but it wasn't to be. It's on Haruki's shoulder in this leg, reminding him if you don't get it done, if you don't get it done quickly, I can 60. snatch this match away from you and your World Championship campaign is over. Thinking six starts. Not now we won't. And the reasons he went on the 19s. If he could have filled that one seven up like he did previously. Would have left the double Haruki 18. That's when you regret a chance here. For Haruki. Can he find the trouble? Yes, he can. Great dart. Double 18. Oh, right in the corner, and that'll do it. We are going to a deciding leg in this set. In the balance, this match. It's a slip. 81. Important Haruki last R, that one. 121. 1 2 1 for Haruki to take us to a deciding set. For the first time tonight, treble 17. Oh, he's missed by a tiny fraction. 57. And goes treblous. So it's Norigimi, the 64. But the 127, just the one treble with two dart, he's got it. It's bullseye for the match. And Game what a match! Time! What a finish! What a player! And what a celebration from Shaggy. Scott Williams played absolutely superb in that game. You know, we talk about a great pace to the game. 
it's, they actually don't throw as fast as you might think. It just feels good. Yes. Wow, run up 65. Well, Gary went out in the 11 first leg. He's on double eight after 12 in this. Simon has walked into it very, very early. Well, what Simon's doing wow, up there for a second dart, I don't know. Should have gone for 19. That is the second leg. Gary is back, but he hasn't really been anywhere. Well, we've seen Simon Whitlock go three balls before. We've seen Simon Whitlock. Oh, I thought he was going for it. Another. Moves over to make full use of the marker. That's brilliant. Double 18. It's going to say so good. Well, and you know, with Gary and I end up 132 for the set. You, you can't think that this isn't a possibility. So treble 19 to come back for the ball. No. So Simon has a chance to clean up and claim his first leg of the match. It's really the first let off that Simon's had in this match. So his first leg. You think it's got to go, but 38, never a gimme really, but it is Gary Anderson, I suppose. Well, that's far outside. This is not looking likely. Oh, wait a minute, it's Gary Anderson, and he takes set one. I'm going to save some for later in case he gets in trouble. He never runs out. That's the thing. 65. Well, Simon's having a bit of a stinky here, so after 12 darts, wants 220. No wonder why he's behind. He needs a 140 or 180 here. This feels like he's throwing second in the leg, John. It's not, he's throwing first. Well, exactly, yeah. It's not looking too good, but, well, double eight. 15 dart, break of throw. Ouch. Simon Whitlock. You're going to really have to dig deep, Simon, now. You, you're gonna have to the happen. peril. The peril is gone. Yes. Where's and the jeopardy? Yes. Oh, there it is. Bit of urgency. No, I, no that should have been a 170 to leave 32, Wayne. Come on. No, you can't beat the max, John. I still say in a 180 off 182 is the absolute <laughs> best thing you can do on a dartboard. Gary required 22. For the set. That is the set. Gary Anderson is just too good. He's too up. Gary now. The massive odds on shot to win it. Because he has the darts as well. Yeah, this Simon needs a two big treble visit here. Get down under a hundred and hope. Got to go back up to leave a finish. Mm, what finish would that be? Oh, it won't be one at all. Oh dear. Gary require 112. Yeah, just difficult day for him. It's not difficult for this man. Made sure of that. Double 16. Game shot on the third leg. Gary Anderson. Full play. One leg away. From a place in the third round. Let me just well, give an example of that. You saw that weak effort from Anderson and he punished it. 51. Double eight for a little 12 darter and save the match. Tell you what, it was lucky he didn't bust that. Yes. Yeah, that that's uh, very fortunate, and he's in a great position knowing he's coming back for the double eight. Maybe he missed outside just Somebody with that thought in mind. And don't bust. Yeah. So for two two. And to stay in the game, to stay in the World Championship. Bit of quality in this set from Simon Whitlock. Because the first one a 180 this time. He made sure of that with the first one. He's doing some real muttering up there to himself. He doesn't like what he's seeing here. And he knows Simon is fully capable. He's missed a three big out shots already. Well, that's a good marker. Can he use it? The answer is yes. Bullseye! Oh, wow, what a dart he threw at that. 
when that left his hand, Gary, he would have thought this has a chance. Now this is Gary's chance to wrap it up. He's going to get a dart at Tots, and that is the match dart, and it's Tots, and it's a 1-16 finish. It's the highest finish of the match. It was a three sets to nil for Gary Anderson.